Well, first of all, I think we need to study our history, the real history, all of the history, not just beautified part of the history that makes it look as if, uh, oh, we just uh, did some peaceful protests and then everything changed and now everything is okay. Our young people need to study what really happened on all levels and dig for that information. They need to take control and realize that the struggle that we engaged in is not over. It continues to this very day. And unless somebody, our younger generation, takes an interest in really making a change and continuing that struggle, we can be pushed right back into the, almost into the Stone Age. So our young people need to really look at what happened. They need to try to analyze, get analytical minds. They need to have love for themselves and for our people as a whole. They need to seek the truth no matter where it leads. And they need to seek allies, people who are struggling. Because this struggle, like I said, is still going on. There's a struggle of good and evil going on in this world today. It continues. And unless we choose sides, we're going to be doomed. We have a whole generation. We have almost two generations of young black males who have no hope for the future. They have no experience in jobs. They have no uh, work ethic. They have been systematically programmed to wipe each other out. And unless our young intellectual black people wake up and not accept the fact that now we've got maybe 10% of our people who can do well and get ahead of the rest of them, that we're going to be in the same kind of holocaust situation as our Jewish brothers and sisters were. So I think it's urgently important that our young people look at where we've been and try to plot a path for where we want to go.